Welcome back guys. Today we are going to be doing step by step guide on how to update x570 motherboards BIOS using mFlash method. This is the latest and updated guide. In our case we are using MSI motherboard but other motherboard manufacturers process should be the same. But please follow motherboard guideline because BIOS can be tricky and can break your motherboard. This means that it could damage your motherboard if done incorrectly. This includes sudden power loss, incorrect BIOS version, rebooting the system during BIOS update and more. So let's get started. The process is very simple and easy. Navigate to the motherboard vendor's website, MSI in our case, and find the exact motherboard you're using. Don't settle for close enough and find the exact product. Go to the support webpage, then look for latest BIOS. Download the latest BIOS that is relevant to your motherboard. Find the BIOS you have downloaded and unzip it. Copy the BIOS file in the root of USB drive. You can either format the USB drive and then copy the files. Leave the USB plug into the system and reboot the system into BIOS. In my case, I had to keep pressing Dell key in order to boot into the BIOS. So please check your motherboard BIOS boot option. So when boot into BIOS and navigate to system information to find the current BIOS version. Make a note in case you need to roll back. Navigate to mFlash. Select the USB device, then the file and make sure it is the correct BIOS file you have downloaded. Then proceed and select it. Accept the prompt after review and allow the flash to continue. Do not interrupt this process. If it looks like there is no progress, be patient and walk away from it. Restarting now can damage something. In my case it took around 5 minutes, so be patient. Once BIOS update is complete, system will reboot. You have to get back into the BIOS. After the BIOS update, I find out my memory settings were changed and memory was running on low frequency. So I reapply BIOS settings that you like. In my case, I had to reapply XMP profile, save it and reboot and get back into the BIOS. And as you can see system memory is running at correct frequency. Updating BIOS can help in few ways. The main one is adding memory support. New version of BIOS can expand support for higher frequency XMP and memory settings. Improve overclock stability and improve temperatures auto V core for the CPU. So there you have it. You have successfully updated your motherboard BIOS using mFlash method. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.